Hey guys, it's Leslie from Sweat 16 Fitness and I have been getting a lot of questions, especially on YouTube, about my diet and what I eat, so I thought I would make this video. First of all, let me say um, I eat a plant-based diet or a vegan diet and I have been doing that for a little over a year since about last January, February, and it was after seeing Forks Over Knives, Food Inc., and Food Matters all in one day, and I found them on Netflix, and I'm pretty sure they're all still on there. So if you're interested in all of that, then you can watch those. I'm not really good at Playing it, certainly not an expert on it, so those are some good ones to watch. And I was eating like um, my English muffins, and my son had his pancakes, and then the other day I watched Vegucated on um, Netflix and decided to cut those out completely because. What they do to the baby boy chicks, not to mention the lives the other chickens have. I just don't feel right. So, that being said, that's the basis of my, my or the foundation, if you will, of my diet. Um, it works for me. Um, I think what you eat is a personal thing, so I'm, I don't judge people that don't eat the way I do. That's just what I eat. So, what do I drink? I drink lots of water. Love water. And I drink coffee and I drink silk creamer in it. And I know that's not good for you, but this isn't a, hey, what's good for you? Or what food is good for you video this is kind of just what I eat and I drink coffee um, a good portion of the day and I drink a Zevia at lunch and that's my little treat I used to drink Diet Coke all day long all I drank was Diet Coke and coffee and beer but um, now I drink water, coffee, and a Zevia. So, those are the three things I drink. And alcohol. If you're wondering if I drink alcohol, sometimes. Um, after I had my son, well, I, I didn't drink when I was pregnant, but after I had him, I drink here and there. Like, I've gone like a whole year without drinking. Um, I don't know, I just don't like it like I used to. I don't like being hungover. I, I don't know. Now I have more fun without drinking, but I do like to drink from time to time. I have the same breakfast every morning. Um, I have Kashi Goling cereal with a banana chopped up, like a fistful of raisins, and my pure almond what is it what is it oh it's yeah it's the uh, silk pure almond unsweetened almond milk so that's what i have for breakfast every single day it hasn't gotten old yet i try and do my workouts right before a meal so that way I don't have to have something extra for it but if I if it's not right before a meal then I will have my Shakeology I thought it was gross the first time I had it and then I blended it with a banana and PB2 and almond milk and it tasted great and but now I can just um, I have one of those blender shaker ball 
things and I put a scoop of Shakeology in some water, shake it up and just drink it like that and now I guess my taste buds have changed and that tastes good to me. So I will have that if it's not <clears throat> right before meal time. I, uh, I signed up to run my very first marathon and it's going to be next January, it's the Walt Disney World one and I'm super excited and I'm not a runner, I've always wanted to be a runner and I always get injured and whatnot, but I am running this marathon and so I'm going to be training for that and after I run I like to drink the uh, Zico dark chocolate uh, coconut water. It's yummy, regular cocoa, cocoa, regular coconut water tastes like butt to me, but this stuff is yummy. So I like to consider my runs not really exercise, so I like to just replenish those calories and everything for that. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking about this summer starting to like vlog, make vlogs on like my marathon training and all of that. So if you're interested in seeing that, please leave a comment below or thumbs up this video so I know and that will be fun if you want to see that and what else? Um, breads that I eat, uh, Rudis ancient grains bread, Ezekiel English muffins and the Ezekiel um, tortillas. And you find those in the frozen section and I just when I get home I used to keep it in the freezer and then defrost a piece each time but now I just stick them all in the fridge when I get home and then just toast it or nuke it when I'm ready to eat it but the um, what's great about the Ezekiel is it's a complete protein so that's good but for lunch I will have Sometimes a block of chicken burger. Those aren't great for you, but they're yum. And I found this um, non-dairy ranch dress non-dairy ranch dressing um, on Amazon. I'll put a link below for that too. Um, but it's delicious. It's horrible for you like the regular ranch, but you know, I just put a little bit on a uh, on an English muffin and some greens and my baka burger. That's delicious. And I like to dip uh, peppers and carrots and these pretzel crisps. I've been loving those into hummus. I love hummus. It's so that's normally what I'll have for lunch, or I'll make a cucumber sandwich, or a wrap uh, with just greens, and I like the chopped up celery, green pepper, onion mix, and the tomato mix already chopped up, so I don't really have to do anything. Also another good option, I like the Amy's Organic Vegan Soups. Those are pretty scrumptious. So that's basically my lunches. One of my favorites is my quinoa with black beans and corn and salsa. And I made a video on that a while back. So I will put a link below to that video if you're interested. I love that uh, meal. It's really good for you and it's yummy. And you can make enough to have all week. So that's a good one. I also like to make tacos and I make them with northern beans. And you make it just like you would regular tacos, but you just mash up the northern beans in a pan and heat them up for a few seconds. And then you cook the rest of it like it says on the box. So that's good. And I like to put lettuce. Um, steamed broccoli or carrots on it, not carrots, but corn um, and salsa. That makes for a really yummy vegan taco. Sorry. I also like to make this salad thing with um, edamame and strawberries and 
out of those right now. But it's uh, edamame, strawberry, apples, cucumber, um, chopped up, the whole um, onion, green pepper, celery mix, and tomato mix. And it doesn't need any kind of dressing or anything. You just chop all that up, throw it together, and it's delicious and it's good for you. So that's also something else I like to have. For dinner, I also like the uh, Uncle Ben's 90 Second Rice. Late night snack, I will get up and I will cut up, chop up an apple into little pieces and put it in a little bowl and lay in bed and watch TV and munch on that. That's good. Um, a bad snack, Oreos. I'm like refusing to buy them now because my son gets hooked on them and I get hooked on them and I will grab two at different points during the day and just eat them. So, so something else I let I like to eat, but I'm trying to not eat so much of it. There's that. Uh, I also like to take a tortilla and some peanut butter, the all natural kind that you have to stir. It's kind of a pain in the A to have to stir it, but it's so much better. It doesn't have, um, it doesn't have like the sugar, extra sugar and stuff in it and it's delicious. So I like to put that on there and granola and raisins, roll it up, cut it up, eat it. That's a good snack. I also like those pretzel crisps. I'm like obsessed with those things right now. I like to have those with some grapes. That, I've been eating a lot of that lately. That's basically um, what all I've been eating lately and I've been eating for a while. Um, eventually I'd like to go towards more whole foods diet, but for right now I'm really happy with the, the kind of balance I have right now. I feel like I'm eating healthy and at the same time I feel satisfied and you know like I'm, I don't know, I'm getting some bad stuff too. Like I feel like it's a good balance, I'm happy with it. So. That's what I eat, guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. The best place to reach me is over at my Facebook page. And I now have a have an Instagram and Twitter account. Um, so you can follow me there. I've been posting pictures and nonsense on there. And I have, like, no idea how it works or anything. <laughs> so if I Instagram or tweet something that just doesn't seem like it's you're supposed to because I have no then ugh. yeah basically I have no idea what's going on in the world of tweets or Instagram so mine might not make any sense but I'm going to continue to do it so one day I will figure it out so yeah be sure to follow me there I'm going to be posting pictures of my food and um, workout stuff and I think that's it. I will have links below and um, names of the movies and whatnot down below me. And I need to go film my workout video for tomorrow, so be sure to check that out and work out with me. And yeah, I hope you are having a fabulous day, and I will see you guys soon.